A local mom will present a check for several thousand dollars to Children's Hospital following her son's battle with a horrible disease. Like Lauren Hill, Kyler Bradley captured our hearts with his courage in battling DIPG. But their stories also leave a lot of parents worried about their own children. Sheila Gray and Deborah Dixon address concerns in a special report you will only see on Local 12 News. We asked parents what they want to know about DIPG and the response was overwhelming. Now we have some answers and something we've never been able to report. Some encouraging news from researchers. There is an instant connection between parents when they've had a child with cancer. It's the uh, club you never wanted to be a part of. But Brooke Deserick's daughter Elena died of DIPG nine years ago. Since then, she's connected with hundreds of families. It lets you know everything it's taking from you. I wouldn't have survived without like Brooke or other moms that have been on the journey. Kyler Bradley's family, Lauren Hills, Brooklyn Smith's, and so many others, all fighting the rare brain tumor known as DIPG. There was no um, symptoms, no nothing to start the red lights going that there was something wrong with our kid. The tumor attaches itself to the base of the brain, the lowest stem-like part that controls the body's most vital functions. No child has ever survived. No cause, no cure. Judy Hunter Main says that scares her. It scares me, Judy says. Is it in the air we breathe or the food we eat or the water we drink? So mm -hmm. that suggests that the blood-brain barrier is breaking down. We asked Dr. Trent Hummel questions for viewers. At Children's Hospital, he develops ways to treat children with central nervous system tumors. Cincinnati is known for that research that shows there is nothing in our air, water, or food that causes the aggressive tumor. And I'm a parent as well, and so, but I tell my patients this, there's nothing that they did or didn't do wrong from an eating standpoint. It's not because they didn't eat broccoli when they were little. Or didn't. A few hundred children are diagnosed with DIPG every year, but to Maggie Hill, it seems we've been hit hard. She wants to know if there are more cases in our area, or are we just more aware? There is no increase compared to what the um, national data is reporting. So we don't have any more cases than any other area? No. It's the awareness that we've all been fighting for for nine years. Come on, 22! The screen comes, the ball goes down to Lauren Hill, and the layup is good! Awareness heightened by this now famous accomplishment by Lauren Hill. I mean, if you take Lauren or the big voice out of the equation and it never happened, all these families would quietly mm -hmm. go about losing their children. I'm not saying woe is me, but when Elena was diagnosed, there was nothing, no nothing at all. Brooke and her husband Keith have made it their life's mission to fund research for a cure. At the core, Cincinnati is such a giving community. And when they saw Lauren's story and then they saw Kyler's story, they just want to help. The community has donated millions of dollars to The Cure Starts Now. It funds research and requires doctors and hospitals to share information. But is there a common denominator that moves through that? And what is the common denominator? And that's what the DIPG registry will hopefully find out. Dr. Trent Hummel believes the future is in genetic tests on tumor tissue from patients like Kyler and Lauren. Their purpose here was to find the cause of this horrible thing, and that's why God put them here. She gave it everything she had. and open the door. I think Elena's purpose more than anything was to shove us into this realm. And one last viewer question was asked by Susie Langan. She wants to know what treatments might be possible in the coming years. Well, Deborah and Sheila have some positive news on that front from researchers at Children's Hospital. Ahead on Local 12 News coming up at six o'clock, we will tell you about a clinical trial that is giving doctors a great deal of new hope. Wow, that's fantastic.